Hello Virgo, welcome to Sidekick Tarot. I'm Ryan, and thank you for being here. This is going to be a general reading for who you may be dealing with and what they're up to. And for more tarot readings after this, go ahead and check out my wife's channel, The Valve 3 Tarot, which is read you as well. Thank you. Starting by pulling their current or overall energy. And then we'll be going into clarifiers. Okay, I'll get the cards out first, and then I'll begin. Hmm. Interesting. Okay. Jumping into this, Virgo, what they do show me right away, there is some sort of confusion that they are having to work through. And I'm not too sure exactly what this is, but for some reason, it kind of carries the emphasis on they're not too... How do I say this? They're not too sure about what they think with where their emotions are. It's an energy of they're working through it, they're processing, they're working through the confusion... And then all of a sudden there is this new emotion or feeling of love, which is pretty strong, but ultimately regarding this new love, they are definitely wanting to utilize it for some sort of overall vision of what they want to manifest and create. Now, that being said though, with this vision, there is a lot of emotional energy invested and committed and there's so much happiness and excitement moving forward with this. But then all of a sudden they show me that they do feel quite under, quite, quite a bit under burden and pressure here regarding either the endeavor, the emotions, I don't exactly know. But what I kind of find interesting about this is this energy is all building up and unfortunately it is causing some sort of heartbreak or definite pain for them that they're having to kind of stop, acknowledge, address, heal from, work on healing from, as well as re-acknowledge those emotions. Now what's interesting about this is whatever these emotions are again, um, they are going through some sort of change personally and whatever this transformation is, they're fighting themselves about something afterwards. Okay, let's go ahead and jump into clarifiers and see what some of this could be. Whatever this is, they're they're fighting themselves over this. Let's see. Oh, jeez, 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 jeez. Mm. That's that's yeah, that's a pro. That's a thought process. Um, that's fascinating. It's almost like they're having. To, how do I say this? It's almost as if they are having to kind of dissect their own mind, dissect their own thoughts, just to be okay with something, just to surrender to something, but more specifically to learn from this. It's almost like they have to clear out their mental clutter first to have this eye-opening experience to understand something about the situation. They kind of have to get out of their own way. And that's what they're trying to do, but at the same time, I kind of feel like there is a little bit of a resistance to doing this, just outright going for it for some reason it 
they kind of have to, yeah, they have to kind of get out of their own way. It's like, but this, but that, but this, but that. And it's like, that's what's preventing something from moving forward. <laughs> yeah, and that's what's fascinating. They're saying, oh, geez, this, I feel like these strong emotions and, and this is fascinating, Virgo. It's almost like, do they realize and see what is directly in front of their face or do they not? Because it's almost like their their mind or the mind clutter, I'm going to call it what it is. Their mind clutter is preventing them from seeing what is directly in front of them. But what's fascinating about this is I feel like they do have some sort of emotional breakthrough here, either or. They're saying, well, I have this, I have this, I have this. Whether it is with you, Virgo, or whether it's for themselves, they're kind of like, there's still so much more here to have love for. And that's what's fascinating. That's what's fascinating. And so it's a little bit of a balance between, well, which one are they going to listen to more? Their emotions or their mind? Which one's it going to be? Their heart or, in a sense, their technical ego? Which one's it going to be? Because they're, they're definitely trying to find balance here, and I feel like they are in some sense. Um, I'm a little curious, though, where they're going. Because whatever their overall vision is, like I said, there is a lot of emotional energy invested and committed into this. There is. And there's so much happiness excitement moving forward. There is. At the same time, what is going on with them personally here? That's what I'm kind of curious about. Ooh. Deciding regarding commitment. It's, uh, it's almost as if they themselves, like I said, they're having this difficulty. And again, it goes back to that same thing of which, which, which to listen to, your thoughts, or your emotions, your thoughts or your emotions, like which which one's going to take control or which one's going to grab the wheel and just be like, you know what, we're going this way, um, preferably both, preferably both. And I feel like even though they are having a little bit of this difficulty, they are working on this. But I feel like they're also having this realization of they're doing this to themselves. And I feel like that's what's slowly beginning to kind of break their heart is because they're torn between what to listen to within themselves. And so, yes, it is a very big burden in... <laughs> difficulty for them to think about moving forward because they are a little bit on the fence of deciding like which one to listen to um but i feel like at the same time it's they're having that realization of like well you, you can't stand in the middle of the street and expect to move forward or progress if you're not choosing a direction to go in even if it's the wrong direction is there technically any wrong direction in life virgo or is everything meant to work out and turn out the way it's meant to turn out it's one of those things where it's like, now or later, now or later, but you're going to learn or find out either or now or later. It's just make a decision and move forward with it. Yeah, yeah, I feel like they got a lot on their plate to take care of. They do. They do. At the same time, it's kind of like, if you have a lot to take care of, you're going to have to manage your thoughts and manage your emotions and manage your time and manage your energy. And that's what it's all about. Um, you want to be the boss, you got to do boss things. That means you got to be very particular and specific about every little thing you do. Um, you can't waste your time here. You can't waste your time there. You have to really direct and guide and focus on where you're trying to get to. Um, goodness. Uh, I kind of feel like they are going through this because it, it almost feels like they should... Ultimately, it's going to sound harsh and blunt, but they're saying that they're going through this pain because they feel like they should be smarter or more clear minded for the sake of coming up with some sort of plan or possible idea as to how to have everything kind of work out for them financially. This definitely doesn't feel like some sort of connection or relationship between the two of you. It possibly could be, um, but I'm not seeing it quite yet. Yeah, it's about work. It's about money and finances. Yeah. Jeez, yeah, they're, they're in, again, it's that energy of indecisiveness. Indecisiveness. It's like, what do you want to eat today? Um, a burrito or a burger? Well, I don't know. I'm not really feeling either. Then it doesn't matter which one you pick. Just pick and go forward with it. 
again, they're showing me this energy of reconsidering their emotional energy of to walk away from something that just isn't working. Uh, but ultimately, it, it's kind of like them saying they want to, geez. They're trying to work with the issues and the difficulties regarding this financial endeavor until it finally like reveals something to them that they can turn around and kind of put into action and work towards and work on and kind of utilize to have something work out for them. It's an energy of learning through the process. It's a learning process. And along the way, I feel like they're learning something about themselves too. And I believe I just told Capricorn that or who Capricorn was dealing with the same energy of if you stay in the middle of the road, undecided about what you want to do, cars are going to start driving by and force you to one, choose a direction to go or force you out of the road and say, you know what, because you're not deciding or choosing, we're going to choose for you. And I feel like they're having this realization here because it's like, okay, even though they are, they're showing up different, there is still that internal battle over something. Let's see. Yeah, yeah, torn, torn. I've been seeing this a lot today, Virgo. Um, they're 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 trying to determine like do, that's what's fascinating is they're they're trying to determine whether or not to start something new or different for themselves, but they're still holding on to the past. That there's something regarding the past or the history that it's like, well, what's it gonna be? Are you gonna go with the new or are you gonna stick with the old? Even if it's something different, either or. You got to choose. And that's what they're kind of still fighting themselves on is what to do, what to do, what to do. I don't exactly know, but I do know that they do have to decide something here. And they are definitely getting ready to. It's an energy of maybe it's a process of back and forth, back and forth, back and forth until they finally get tired of it. And they're like, you know what? I'm just going to go this way. And they go that way and they find out where it takes them. I'm not too sure, but there's that. Goodbye.